Okay, welcome everybody to the debut pilot episode of the Gus and Eddie podcast. I am joined, of course, by my co-host Bryce. Bryce, say hi. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to the Gus and Eddie podcast. <laughs> that, was a, that was a great introduction. Uh, so let's first start by talking about uh, the name. Uh, where did the name come from? You know, why did we feel that it was, um, why do we feel called to, to use it? If you want to maybe uh, right. give us some insight on that. Yeah, no, so, yeah. I, I, you know, me and my girlfriend were looking at names for potential children, yeah. and yeah. we were looking at the most popular names uh, in the U.S. right now. Uh, number one is Joseph. Number one is Joseph. And I was like, oh, that name sucks. It so, sucks, dude, yeah. If you have the name yeah. Joseph, you're probably a dick writer. Yeah, that sucks. So I was like, okay, it's let's look at other places. Uh, yeah. I, I looked I looked in, uh, you know, other continents. The number one name was like Muhammad. And I was like, well, yeah. I don't know if I'll name my kid Muhammad personally, but. Why not? Huh? Why not? I uh, just, you know. I No, I don't actually. So then we looked uh, again back at the U.S. names, and I saw I saw Eddie, and I was like, that you know, it's such a such a cool flowing name. It's a powerful I, name, a pa- very powerful name. But then then I looked a little bit further and saw Gus, very short, sweet. Yeah, it's its own nickname essentially. It's its own nickname mainly because it is short for something. Actually, yeah, I don't know what. But that's luckily that's not important. The important thing is that you know, while we ourselves are not named those things, they're pretty great names. So we talked about this, and then I had checked and saw that no one is currently using that name right for a podcast. Right. Yeah. So so there's no issue because no one is using it right now. No one. No one else is using that right now. Gus yeah. No copyright free. It's no, copyright. No free. worries. We yeah. we are we are using these names because we like them. Because and, we like them, and we independently arrived at it, yeah, ourselves, and no one else is using it right now, so it's, so we could have it. It's a good name. It's a, listen. It's a great name. Uh, so, <laughs> so let's get into our topics that we had discussed previous to uh, to this. Uh, first one. Let me look up. Uh, News headlines. Up, no, 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 no. I'm gonna look up uh, sort by most. Reason. Let me look up rap conflicts. Okay, yeah. Sort by, yeah. Can you sort by Jacksonville, Florida? Yeah. Hold on. Wait. Jacksonville is a bunch of like like revenge murders. Yeah. Stuff, right. <laughs> Jacksonville rap uh, beef. Beef. Yep. Lore. Lore. Yeah. Jacksonville's deadly gang war. Oh, I should add, by the way, there's no video element to this podcast. So you're not missing anything by being audio only. Uh, and if we ourselves listen to a video and you don't have the context for it. Um, That's fine. Just kind of intuit. That, just kind of intuit what we're looking at right now. Like right now I'm looking at Jacksonville's Deadly Gang War. It's a video that I could play the audio for. That'd be dope. Uh, but I'm... <laughs> it's, it's a two hour long video. That might be a project for <laughs> our, us personally. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a personal kind of endeavor. Hold on, what is okay? This is from Trap Lore Ross. <laughs> Hip hop stories Wait. with depth. <laughs> Can we start one of these channels? I, I think that's what we're gonna be doing. He has an interview you know, with Crip let me Max. let me share because I actually know I know a very yeah. very limited amount of Jacksonville revenge killing lore. Yeah. Um, so do you know the song "A Thousand Miles" um, by Vanessa Carlton? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it goes like, if I could walk, or something, I don't know, something, something like that. Uh, there yeah. is another song called Who I Smoke that I've shown you before. I recommend oh, everybody yeah. go look it up. Yeah, it That to samples it. a thousand miles. Here, uh, play, a, play a couple seconds of it right here. <laughs> I can't, I can't. That was awesome. That was yeah, great. Yeah, it was great. That was that great, was great. That was a great few seconds of it. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't um, hear it, you missed the fuck out, man. That was awesome. <laughs> You missed out. Yeah, you missed out. Uh, and it is it is a song by uh, four or five rappers in Jacksonville, Florida, that, again, samples a thousand miles where they just sit there and talk about all the people that they smoked. It's awesome. It also kind of goes hard, and they just ride around a golf cart on a random golf course for the video. That sounds kind of badass, actually. <laughs> Super dope. <laughs> Who did they smoke? Uh, I'm trying to remember the lyrics. Who I smoke? I think they say Biggie. I think, but I don't think they mean Biggie Smalls. 
That'd be cool if they did, dude. Yeah, the, these guys were like that. eighteen to like twenty four, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like ch- like actual babies with like handguns going to search. It's like a never mind. G force is about hamsters. It's very different. No, just assume that no, no. Just do 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 the riff, and we'll just assume that G force. <laughs> I was just gonna Dude, say it's like G Force. Uh, it's like G Force. What were you thinking of? <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was thinking of G Force. Uh, maybe I, I, I was mistaking G Force and Boss Baby. Or like I don't know. I saw the the new Minions Rise of Gru recently. Maybe I was thinking of that. Yeah. I I think what you're thinking of is the movie Baby Geniuses. I don't know what that is. Okay, so it's a bunch of babies, right? That and... like go around and blick people. Basically, it kind of they blicked him like intellectually, okay, with like debate yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so what it is is that facts and logic. It's kind of a facts and logic type scenario where they do like a kids next door type thing where there are these babies. But this is a lot. I, I saw like half of this movie like ten years ago, so I'm probably giving you a pretty good synopsis. So yeah, what it is are. is there's these. It's live action and it's just overdubbed. Uh, so there are these like babies that are trying to like. I think stop some like evil scientist from I don't know like redoing Yakub's experiments or something, and uh, their whole thing is like babies are really smart, they're highly intelligent, right? Highly yeah. capable, and then when they turn like two or three, they're just fucking dumb. Like they just turn into like raw, like regular babies. How they're like stupid okay. when they're that age, but for like a, a year or two, they're like you know two thousand IQ. But they just like can't walk. But that's the problem is that they can't. They're physically incapable. So I mean, as smart as a baby is, right? Mm-hmm. Baby genius. Like I could easily beat any of them in like unarmed combat. Right. Doesn't matter easily. how smart you are if you're physically incapable. I would. Destroy How are you gonna act on it? You can't do it. Yeah, I could just like you're like a foot tall. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? But either way, so they. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up the synopsis of the movie. Baby genius. Is this movie real? I might have just like kind of made it up. Baby yeah. geniuses. I was, I was wondering whenever you said baby geniuses, I was yeah. thinking of <laughs> Little Rascals. I haven't seen it. No, I have seen it actually. That's a badass movie. Yeah, it goes hard. Hold on. So I'm seeing, I looked up baby genius and I see a picture of a baby wearing a kippa. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, that's, I think. I don't know if it's from the movie. Oh, he's Sorry. wearing a gi. He's not wearing a kippa. He's wearing a gi and like okay. a hat. So what? wait, so is he physically capable if he's wearing? Maybe, <laughs> Maybe he is. I hold on. I I feel like I might need to actually figure out what this movie is about. Uh, how old are the kids in Baby Geniuses? Is a suggested uh, Google search. Yeah, figure uh, that they're out. They're two year old. They're, okay, they're two. Okay, they're Baby Geniuses. Okay, uh, so you plot. can walk it too, right? I I think because I assumed like until recently that babies don't know how to like walk or talk until they're like four years like old. Five, yeah, yeah, and, like, the, yeah. <laughs> once you turn kindergarten age, you can like kind of walk and maybe like talk a little bit. But then my uncle had a a kid like a couple years ago, and he's I think like five or six now. And I remember when he was two, he was walking and, and like vocalizing a little bit, and I was like, "Oh, dude, fuck, this kid is like, a genius. This kid's oh, literally genius. like, yeah." He's going to have a PhD by the time he's my, like, this kid is fucked. He's so <laughs> far ahead in life. And they're like, no, he's actually like a few months behind where he should be. You're like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. Then. It's but, like those videos of like, there'll be like a seven or eight year old kid who shoots like a basketball and like makes it in their mom's like that. Yeah, that kid's going to grow up to be an athlete. And then yeah. like moments <laughs> later, he tries to catch a ball and just like falls over crying. Yeah. See, the difference between me and them is that if my kid like makes a, a three pointer, I would immediately assert that he's going to be in the NBA, but then I'd be right, actually, because he has, yeah. like, the champion genes. My mentality with kids is, is sort of yeah. like uh, the Spartans, where if mine is physically inept, yeah. I'm just going to, like, kick him into a hole. Yeah, exactly. Go just a get new a new one. one. Yeah. See, I don't need to worry about that, because my kids are going to have my champion gene and my warrior genes. Which you have both baked of. Baked into them, which I have both of. And my kids are going to have them, and that's why my kids are going to grow up to be, like, kings, dude. So they're gonna have your your champion, you said, and your warrior gene, but they're not gonna have like your your funny gene. They're yeah, gonna be very serious. Like, yeah. like they, they're gonna be warlords. they're gonna be stoics, is what they're gonna be. They're gonna be stoics. They're gonna be stoics. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I saw a, a recommendation from a channel called Daily Stoic like the yeah. other day, mm-hmm. and I think I was thinking about it. Like, I get that there are all the all these videos that are like Sigma male affirmations, where it's just like a ten minute long video. Of like a black and white 
picture of like a Buddhist statue, and then it's just a guy repeating like women are evil and if they won't <laughs> like give you head that means that they're like uncultured and you need to like go work out and like that sort of like, like it's andrew just tate all the type. same shit like andrew tate type stuff um but i was thinking like daily stoic that's like you really need that every day yeah <laughs> New, I, like, I could not be a stoic, stoic let, me, let me look up see how often they upload daily stoic they have seven hundred thousand. If I, if I to assume <laughs> how often daily oh, stoic fuck. uploaded, I oh, think I go with one a day. What what do you what are your results? Yeah, we're looking at a, a very solid one a day. Sometimes he skips it, which as a stoic I, I wouldn't do personally. But let's see what lessons. Okay, let's see. Uh, five stoic one liners. He's like like a Mitch Hedberg style one liner, but for stoicism, the stoics are masters of one liners, and I want to give you five of the best. All time stoic one liners. Number one from Epictetus. That's not a real name. That's a fucked up ass name. If you want to be beautiful, make beautiful choices. That's not funny at all. Number two from Seneca. We suffer more in imagination than reality. Okay, yeah. th- these these people need to take a fucking uh what is that play? UCB class, like immediately. These guys know nothing about yeah. comedy writing. They need to set up. Take a, a class and then this. finish the entire like do you get a degree, a certificate? What do you get from UCB? Um, like a pat in the back? Negative nine hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they just, <laughs> becomes a little bit easier yeah. to manage. They take yeah. What you get is you get like less money, and then like you get to shake hands with like a talent scout who like wasn't even watching anything you were doing. Yeah, you meet like one of the, <laughs> yeah. one of the UCB alum. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, it's, it's one really, of like the, the C list does. Yeah, like, uh, I do like. <laughs> do you remember with Trump University back in the day? There was a uh, exactly. one of the things, one of the guarantees is that if you completed the Trump University, like the entire yeah. thing, you'd get to meet Donald Trump and take. Or you, no, 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 sorry, you would get to take a picture with Donald Trump. Is the wording they used. Um, That's a mega fair. And I think after mission. yeah, after uh, one of the classes graduated, uh, they had a cardboard cutout of him. That's what they got to take that's a picture, so, dude, which is incredible. So, yeah, hey, man, yeah, sorry, he's too busy actually, so <laughs> he couldn't come to the graduation for the school that he like is, has his name on it. Yeah. So I'm still engrossed in in daily stoic right now. I'm I'm a little bit more engrossed in so today's like a special day because today, yeah. Dragon Ball like Z too. came to Fortnite. Yeah, and you're a and big Dragon Ball Z I, fan. I'm not, but I was, and I th- I think Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Is, I think it's really funny that you can be LeBron James <laughs> shooting a Kamehameha yeah. at like John Wick in Fortnite. Yeah, I'm real. As soon as as soon as your game works, I'm really looking forward to jumping in as John yeah. Cena. Dude, uh. I give it one year till we we get Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and then like Nami maybe. In okay, I kind of want that. I should be guess. <laughs> I know you're. I said it because you're a One Piece fan now. Yeah, a new a new one. Yeah, new newly uh, newly joined. I had. I had an idea, right? Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, in Fortnite, you have to be like an of average height if you want to get into the game. Like you can't be. The reason is because I want Gon and Kilo in the game, but they're they're kids. They're short. If they made Thanos short, they can make Gon and Kilo normal. tall. Yeah. The, Just fuck I, I up their thinking, proportions. I was thinking it's Gon and Kilo is one skin, and they're like wearing a trench coat. And the, the <laughs> style options are who is on top and who's on yeah. bottom. Oh, that'd be so gas! And they have like the the big like fedora. It like barely yeah, fits. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, so you get trench coat gone Killua, you get yeah. Hisoka, and like Leoria. That's all you need. It, I would play Leorio exclusively for the rest of my life. Yeah, you wouldn't need anyone else, dude. Sorry, and then I, I realized that. Uh, at like Goku as Leorio. My, I, I realized I saw, got sidetracked here because I was trying to figure out what Baby Geniuses was about. Uh, so oh, two yeah. scientists. I uh, use genius baby studies. What is that? They use genius baby studies to fund Baby Co's theme park, Joy World. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> so that yeah, so they're just experimenting on babies because this uh-huh. scientist has a hypothesis that like, wait, babies are probably way smarter than us, uh, but they just speak like a different language. They speak like a, a here to hither to. A here to, I think here to is the word. It's a here to unknown dialect of Chinese or something. 
Yeah. And they want to translate it, but they can't. That's it's so good that that like because it, it is a movie, right? You confirm that's a real thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not just a fever dream yeah, I had like, when I was yeah. like nine. It's a real movie. I, it came out in 1999, directed by uh, Bob Clark. It's great that that's a movie because what yeah. that means, I fully believe that this guy did or or does believe that things Ooh. are genuinely. That's what what. Sorry, I just saw that the director of this movie. I, I click on his Wikipedia page and then just I, I my eye darts directly to the last line of the like first paragraph. Oh, okay. He and his son were killed by a drunk driver in April two thousand seven. Oh no! Okay, this. I mean, it's oh. worse and better than what I was thinking. Yeah, he thought like, oh yeah, he was directing movies until the pedophilia happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, apparently he directed a Christmas story. Oh really? Yeah, uh, and then he died actually. <laughs> So, this is how it goes, unfortunately. Yeah, this, this Christmas story is my, my dad's favorite Christmas movie. We used to have to watch that every year on Christmas, and then... And you're lucky, because it's a great movie. It is a good movie. You seem, like, resistant to Christmas. What? Yeah, I kind of made... I didn't actually, you've been pretty open to Christmas. Just, right like, now. made that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let's start some new, some new discourse, listen. The, the, the issue... Yeah, sometimes Christmas. you need to take a stance. Christmas You're playing is, devil's advocate. Yeah, Christmas is I'm uh, good, good guy. anti-Semitic. Did they do that in your um? Because they didn't do that up here. Because I come from like a reasonable like place, kind of. What, what do you mean? Do what? In uh, in like school, they'll have you guys learn how to debate, and they'll take like a really morally oh. black and white issue, but then still force someone to argue the opposing <laughs> side. Like, okay, so basically it's 1939. You're in Krakow. You are the Jews. You, on the other hand, uh, not so lucky. Uh, argue your point. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah. I had a class, or not a class. I had a, a little event that happened in my middle school where we had to, like, learn how to debate. And there was, like, a real judge there or whatever. Um, yeah. I was, I, was part of, I was part of a jury, um, basically, is how they were, like, having us do it. And... I remember, I don't remember what the issue was, but I was so right. I, at least I was convinced I was so right. And everybody else on the, like my, this middle school jury was on the opposite side of me. And just like a real jury, they did not let us adjourn until everybody agreed. And I, we sat there probably three hours until I convinced half the people. And then like, I just like gave up. I was like, I'm really tired. And we all just agreed on the other side again. <laughs> No, I don't get pointless. it. Pointless. So, so in a jury, everyone needs to agree on a verdict. Um, I don't, I don't know if it needs to be unanimous or just like majority, super majority, whatever. But like at least how we were doing it in middle school, that had to be unanimous. That's a good system. I also just noticed that apparently, Baby Geniuses Two, Super Babies, uh, was the final film directed by Bob Clark before his death in two thousand seven. <laughs> and it is uh, he went according out to Wikipedia, he did. Uh, Super Baby's Baby Geniuses 2 is universally panned by critics and moviegoers and is often regarded as one of the worst films of all time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went out with a bang, dude. He went out with a bang, dude. We should, yeah, we should. We should make, we should make Baby Geniuses, Geniuses 3 is what three. you're saying. Yeah, because no one's using it right now. Yeah, I the mean. The IP's just up for grabs. Yeah, I mean. It's kind of a thing that I like to do is when something's available and not currently in use, I like to yeah. just use it. Wait a minute. to do that. Hold on. <laughs> he has a video called Living Like a Stoic for 30 Days, but oh I God. think he's been making these videos for years, so what is it? Which is it, man? Maybe, okay, they must have gotten like a new non-stoic guy. Oh, yeah, and they converted him to stoicism. They converted him to, to stoicism. You see, you got Gary Vaynerchuk on stoicism, uh, soft skills, and becoming your best self. Sorry, I'm just trying to learn about how to be a stoic. Because I feel like I let my emotions control my life, right? Yeah. And this guy. Instead of that, you shouldn't. Instead of that, I should do uh, the things, the, believe the things. The, I, uh, <laughs> I should do the. I should Not subscribe the. I should, I should do... You should be very resistant. I should have the qualities that make you one of these people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever those qualities may be. Uh, let's see. Can a stoic be ambitious? I'm going to click gonna, on it. I'm, I'm going to comment. Hard no, call? They can't. no, you can't. No, they can't. 
Love the vid. <laughs> do you send me that guy's channel by the way i have a, yeah. I have a YouTube account that i may need to talk to it. yeah you have maybe a couple youtube accounts that might need to have a conversation with this guy <laughs> i hear it's, it's everyone doing a big plug right now i think on uh, the next episode subscribe. of the Resonating podcast we might have a uh, somebody to interview can we get this guy can we get a guest we need a guest uh we 100 percent can try to get this guy and if i'm not, gonna go to his instagram another guy who is claiming to be this guy can we oh okay hold on here's the idea First of all, he has an email list, which you guys can subscribe to at dailystoic.com slash email. Uh, but also, uh, go subscribe to his YouTube, uh, follow him on Instagram, and uh, adopt his kind of dogma that he, that he seems really in. He's a weird-looking guy. Can we can you talk about that for like a second? He's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, he looks I feel like that, that's like part of the stoic lifestyle is just being like a weirdo. He's Yeah. What does his voice sound like? Let me unmute one of these. It's like it's just Jordan Peterson, like Kermit voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does kind of have a Kermit voice, yeah. <laughs> oh, so number one. Who is this guy? Hold on. Who Ryan Holiday? Let me see. Ryan Holiday. He's an American author and a modern stoic. Okay. <laughs> He's a I, host of the podcast, The Daily Stoic. Okay. I was gonna try to do a Jordan Peterson voice, but Yeah. I don't think I can. I feel like it would turn uh, out just awful. Do like a... Just do a Kermit voice is really all you have to do. Do like an Apu style Kermit Apu voice. Apu style Jordan Peterson, yeah. <laughs> Your impression of Jordan Apu. Jordan Peterson's big day. Doing an impression of... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we have a segment planned, actually, for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, of course. We have a segment. That's a, what is, that's a great segue into our, <laughs> to our pre-planned <laughs> segment that we okay. have. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, as you know, Apu of Simpsons fame was written out of the Simpsons wrongfully. He was wrongfully terminated from the Simpsons. Um, and the guy who voiced Hank Azaria, right? Mm -hmm. There's a line of succession. It should go Hank Azaria, and if he gives up the role, it should go to me. Mm -hmm. And then if I die, it should go to you. Yeah. And then if but, I die, Apu was written out yeah. of the Simpsons forever. And then if you die, he's gone and he, he's buried with, with you, right? But It'd be awesome. no one's using Apu right now. Is he not like in The Simpsons at all? Is he completely no. right now? No. He's, he's gone. Oh my Unless God. I'm wrong about that. Uh, Apu yeah, you last. just haven't watched The Simpsons <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched anything past like season eight or whatever. Uh, his last notable speaking appearance was in 2017. Okay. Well, hold on. Did, is he actually gone? Do, is he, do you think they is did like gone? a funeral for him in the show? Uh, no, I think he he moved, like out of Springfield. Oh, like, oh my god! Yeah, like what? Could, what happened? I have an idea for Apu. Apu. Okay, the Cleveland show. Yeah, it's called the Apu show. It's, no, it's called Apu's Big Days. Okay, or what? What if it's called like The Simpsons? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good name. It's a little derivative, I know, but hold on. The voice actor stepping away from a character who's been criticized as a racial stereotype, but it's unclear whether the convenience store owner is being erased from the cartoon. As a subscriber, you have 10 gift articles to give each month. Okay, I'm not a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Your time set does not help me at all. Gift <laughs> articles? Yeah, I guess you could like let people read articles. I, I feel like I've gotten everything I need to out of this article. Yeah. Which is that Hank Azaria is no longer... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Simpsons has, quote, ambitious plans for Apu as of last year. Yeah, I was going to say, Where I'll be honest, it? I get most of the things that I need out of an article just from the headline. You don't really need to dig deeper than the headline, which is why when you're posting an article or replying to an article on Twitter and it says, like, do you want to read it first? Uh, no. No, absolutely Why the not. fuck would I want to do that at all? I already know what it's going to say. I read the, the headline. Hold on. Status alive. Thank God. Uh, Apu, are you like the wiki? <laughs> I'm on the wiki, dude. Wait, is he on Heroes Wiki? Hold on, Heroes Wiki. <laughs> It'd be way funnier if he was on Will Villains Wiki. Yeah, and if not, I mean, those are like open source, right? Like you can, uh, <laughs> you can yeah, certainly add them. Right? Going... Okay, yeah, let me look up. I actually, I don't know if you know this, but I manage your wiki. You do uh, manage your wiki that and we have access to. I think I know one that uh, Apu might be going on soon. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Apu is on Heroes Wiki. Um, let's see. Power slash skills, no information. Okay, that's fine. Goals. No Power slash skills, advanced supermarket management. <laughs> advanced supermarket management. His hero type is do-gooder. Okay. And the quote that they gave is, thank you, come again. 
One of my and favorite he says just experiences. Like that. Yeah, they, yeah. There's a uh, Simpsons ride at Universal in Orlando, yeah. and uh, inside like the waiting room, like like because there's a long. Yeah, but you want to ride the Simpsons. You get to like inside the actual like area where they're about to send you to like the vehicle. Yeah, Apu was waiting there, like That's on a, like a be. digital screen. In real, li- in real life. In real life, yeah. In real life, Apu's waiting there. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of badass. And he's like, he, you just uh, he basically just asks you to buy stuff. And the Simpsons ride is very good. <laughs> I would love to meet Apu in real life. I think we're going to at 3 a.m. I think, uh, what is it? I was talking to you about yesterday about method acting. Yeah. And how, uh, like, Jared Leto, Jared who Leto, yeah. apparently is, like, a world champion pedophile, which sucks because he was great in Morbius. But, uh... Which you watched. <laughs> I, I really, I, I should have committed hard to that. I really, I, there's... The, okay, the plan... I'll I'll let the should I let the game go right now yeah, or should of course. I wait? We're not doing it ever, right? Yeah, you know, I maybe for Morbius two. Okay, well then it doesn't matter. So you can you can okay. You can I guess give, I have that's time. not coming out for at least like eight years. Yeah, the plan was that I memorize the entire script for Morbius like word for word, and then recite all of it blindfolded and tied to a chair in like a really dingy basement. But I only memorized the first like half hour before uh, it just completely ruined. You my also health. didn't start. Until like two weeks after the movie release, well, if like, not the, later than that, yeah, the, memes still, of it. the memes were still going. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but <laughs> after two weeks, there I was. Whenever you were like, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start doing this," every single time I was like, "Dude, I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it's worth it." Yeah, and no, I was just torturing no, myself. No, no, <laughs> dude, I was having a really bad time. That was a, that was an awful period of my life, and then I immediately got COVID right after that. Yeah, yeah, just bad, <laughs> bad, bad. And bad, you owe yeah. the government money. Yeah, and my friend died that month. Too. It was just a bad time for me. I really, and I think you, watching one Morbius for like eight Morbius hours, and I was trying to tear it away. From and it was, the the one thing I had, dude, I listen. I needed stability in my life, and you and, and it actually did, did nothing but just make it way worse. But it's fine. way, way, way worse because you know what, every I found moment it, you just like went to like your car or whatever and like watched yeah. Morbius. Yeah, I did. I, I had it playing on loop. I had it, I had it segmented into ten minute chunks, and then I just play one chunk a day like 12 hours a day i'd be in the car listening to it i'd be like repeating it to, i'd be talking to myself like That's doing like dry runs at the actual, store people looking like at me cia torture method no it was it was so bad it was the worst um and i don't <laughs> had i memorized the entire movie i think i would have actually like uh been sent to like a ward or something because i was getting some really dirty looks at the store just like talking to myself wait were you actually like because i know you were obviously listening to it were you actually in the store like out loud speaking like no, I was in the streets, dude. I was literally like in grinding out I, out here. I was out here more than anyone's ever been out here. It was oh bad, dude. God. It was not good. So we're not doing that. But I, what I did is I found a kinship. In all yeah. of my struggles, I found a kinship with Jared Leto. Yeah. Who uh, it sucks. Cool it's it's <laughs> pedophile. I, but I, it, it's it's sad. I kept googling like Jared Leto pedophile like question mark. <laughs> Just really hoping that like. It, like when you go to your refrigerator and like open it and there's nothing in there and you close it and you're like, well maybe, yeah. maybe. Uh, hopefully, yeah. I, so, see, I do a different method. Yeah. Right? I don't just close it and then hope. Like like yeah. reopen and then hope. I close it, walk back to my room, kind of meditate for a minute. Yeah. And I lower my standards. I'm like, okay, well I didn't want to cook anything. Yeah. So let's yeah let's yeah. Okay. Now I I'm willing to yeah, cook the I have fresh bare eyes. minimum. And yeah, that, that's that's kind of the methodology is you go. You lower your standards yeah. until there there is something in there that you can like see, and like the what the final countdown is like when you see you like end up cooking like a can of beans or something. Yeah. So the point is anyway method acting. Yeah. <laughs> the, the point. Yeah. Uh, That's what we're talking about. Was was that in um. In Suicide Squad, right? Jared Leto played the Joker, as I'm sure you're and our fans are aware. Yeah, uh, he played the Joker. And apparently he was very method the whole time. So he was just in character 24 hours a day on the set, right? And he was, like, sending, like, used condoms to the, like, co-stars in, like, their mailboxes or whatever. And he's doing yeah. real real goofy stuff, right? Real Joker-style stuff. Um, and a lot of the cast was like, yeah, I never met Jared Leto. I only met the Joker. And at first I... I thought like oh man that yeah that sucks jared leto's like a pedophile even though if he wasn't a pedophile i would love him so much and then i realized like they got to meet the joker in real life that's like yeah. so like dude they 
That's like a kid's make a wish dream. Is to yeah, because they can meet like the actor of the Joker, right? But that's a different thing, right? They can meet Heath Ledger. At least they they, they could have met Heath Ledger like ten yeah. years ago. But at the time, they could have met Heath Ledger. Uh, well, that's the actor, right? Like, what if you wanted to meet like the re like the Joker in real life? Yeah, I think that's be so awesome badass. If a Make a Wish kid like asked to meet like Jared Leto Joker, very method yeah. style. <laughs> yeah, get a method actor in here for, for a kid to make a wish. <laughs> yeah, listen, this kid's sick, but he really subscribes to the method, and he really thinks, <laughs> thinks it's pretty valuable. I love method <laughs> acting, dude. I, I'm going to become a method actor. That's what I'm going to do. That's a uh, my favorite thing is seeing every yeah. other actor, like, in reference to, like, Jared Leto or other method actors, yeah. just being like, oh, yeah, it like, man, fuck those guys. It, do- yeah. it doesn't help you. It doesn't They're not make you good. a better actor. It doesn't. It it's like, we, we, I think there's very solid evidence of this in uh, Jared Lotus' acting performances uh, in the past few movies he's been in. <laughs> yeah, no, he was... Okay, listen. Can I, can I snitch on myself a little bit? Please. He was not bad at Morbius. I never watched it. I don't know. Really? You didn't? Uh, don't? It's it, Here's the thing, right? It's not a good movie, but I've I think I have like... I think I have a, a kinship with it almost. Right. You, you and, were essentially imprisoned with this movie. I I had I think I might have given myself Stockholm syndrome for Morbius. Yeah, because I think in like in total, I think I've watched the whole movie in and around like seventy times. Yeah, <laughs> over the course of the month of June. Um, so I feel like I really do have a good sense of it, right? And I feel like I understand it on a, a much deeper level than than people, other people, right? Yeah. Because there's a difference between like just experiencing art and like living art yeah. and it, it fully immersing yourself in it. And listen, sometimes artists are pedophiles, right? But I think as a mature person with media literacy, you can say that Jared Leto's a pedophile. And that's dope. Uh, hmm. it's not, you can say that. You can. Yeah, yeah I'm, thank you, I'm glad you agree with me. I'm glad you agree no, with well, me. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, you, you, Dallas, can say that. Yeah. On the Gus and Eddie podcast. This is a free speech podcast. Yeah, and you are co-signing all this stuff. You know who else is co-signing all this stuff? Our sponsor. Our sponsor. Meet Rap Buddy Productions. Rap Buddy Productions is actually our sponsor. And also, let me look up uh, Forbes 500. For, Fortune 500. What's that yeah. is? It's good in number one. Go ahead and skip the first 499. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, let's just see the, 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 the top shit. Uh, Walmart. <laughs> actually, their sponsor. And let me look up, like, companies... And companies owned by known sex pest. We have severed ties with the Weinstein Corporation. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. We had to we had to cut off ties. Things were getting a little rough on that front. Things are getting a little bit rough. Let's see who else. Uh, I, I realized when I said uh, let me look up companies owned by pedophiles. What else? What, like, else? what else? What else? <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? I realized that yeah, looking up like companies owned by pedophiles, I'm like it's probably just every company. Yeah, one hundred percent. You need to be deeply sick to be enterprising in any way. You're just like going to like Jeffrey Epstein's like black book and then like picking whoever is on there. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, yeah. You probably own something or other. Yeah, like McKesson. Yeah, there's fucking McKinsey, dude. If you if you're a consultant, you probably like eat kids. Yeah. What does a consultant do? Can That's I like one thing. Like really hard right, uh, like QAnon types are probably right about is that like really rich people probably are lizards. Yeah, because like, what are they using the money for? Right. If not. Being lizards, if not, like if not to be people. lizards, yeah, because that shit's really expensive. First of all, second of all, you there's only so much money that you can make by doing honorable stuff and following the eightfold path, which we do. Yeah, I actually what do we six, do? Follow the sixteenfold path. Okay, like, well, I actually follow school. that one too. Yeah, you. And do. by that I mean, okay, well, actually, no, I, you I, do. I, you and I, you, do. you follow that one. You, yeah, you and I do, and no one else really does. But there's yeah, only a lot so of much follow the eightfold path. 
Yeah, a lot of people, it's pretty popular, actually. We follow the, the like, cooler one that's just for kind of, like, level two guys, right? Because we're level, like, we're level two plus guys. But either plus. way, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to brag, which is why I'm not saying the actual number. But either way, um, what was I saying? Some method acting, right? No, we're doing the sponsor segment now. No, we actually have a planned segment. I since 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we have, we have, we have a, a segment actually planned. For the... <laughs> go on, go on. Okay, all right. Okay, so here's the here's the thing, right? Is that we're both fans of not only comedy but also the comedy writing in The Simpsons, right? Right. In The Simpsons. In in The Simpsons. So we're we're gonna read our spec episode of The Simpsons that we wrote ahead of time. Uh, and it's pre-written, and we're gonna read it. We're gonna do a table read of our episode of The Simpsons. Uh, okay. This episode uh, is called Apu's Big Day. It yeah. was written by Bryce Fennessy and Dallas Quinlan. So, uh, mostly wanna... Dallas Quinlan. Hey, I, listen. All right, it, this is this is a collaborative effort. All right, of but course. by the way, it's pre-written, so we're going to read it out because it's in front of us and we're looking at it. <clears throat> Establishing shot of the Simpsons house. Interior shot of the Simpsons living room. Back to the establishing shot of the house and then back into the living room again. Enter Homer, stage left. Hey, Marge. Did you hear that it's Apu's big day? And Marge says, oh, yeah, that's dope. And then uh, okay, so back to the establishing shot now of the Quickie Mart, right? Yeah. Interior Quickie Mart. You want to read the next line? Oh, yeah. So, again, interior quickie mark. Yeah. Uh, you see Apu's son. Uh, Does he have a son? Yeah. Apu, his name is Apu's son. Okay. And he's like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Apu's son. Here's my yeah. dad. Uh, you, you can read the next line. I mean, you wrote this line. You ought to read it. No, I I think that you should take it. Listen, I pre- you're, you're being really thing, kind. You're yeah. next in line for, for Apu. I figure... You should take it. It's your turn. You've waited long enough. So, let, me, let me find my glasses first. Yeah, yeah, of course. So take I can read time. it. Oh, no. Where are my glasses? I can't find my glasses. Oh, shit. Eric <laughs> just made us that producer tag for Rap Buddy Productions. Did Listen he? To it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to it. That was awesome. You probably didn't hear any of that. No, that's great. Back, back to the table read. Exterior quickie mark. Establishing shot exterior Simpsons house. Interior Simpsons house. Homer says, No, oh, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> he does say tough, actually. <laughs> yeah, he says, no. Yeah, sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read the note from the head writer, actually. He did say that yeah. Homer should say doe there. Yeah. So Homer says doe. Uh, and then Bart says, "Hey Homer, uh, uh, I'm. I think. Th- okay, the notes say oh, yeah. he's supposed to say eat my shorts here, but the actual script yeah. is something different. Yeah, the script actually has a couple of words with that. I don't think we're allowed to say on TV. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised was, listen, that I, I, they I don't want to those. get canceled by the fucking the fucking PC police. Catching what I'm, yeah." Hey, I'm not listen. I'm not trying to get political, okay? Listen, hey, man, I'm just, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm not trying to get political. I'm just saying that. Listen, the, the, the yep. woke mob. All right, listen, listen, I, listen all right. Uh, so then, anyway, Bart says, uh, "Eat my shorts." There. Okay. Uh, and then exterior, exterior Simpsons house, uh, exterior yeah. Quickie Mart, interior Quickie Mart. <laughs> uh, the note right here says that you should be the one to do this line. Uh, it's a poo. Just go ahead and take it. Okay, it's actually, it's not a line, it's an action. It's Apu prepares to talk. And then if you want to read the next line. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we try to with this one. So uh, Apu yeah. doesn't actually speak here and he signs. Uh, and he says, boy, yeah. I sure do, sure do hope Dallas reads my line, yeah. which I'm going to speak out loud yeah. my voice after this. So go ahead. Well, okay, Apu does a few gang signs after signing that. And then enter Homer, stage left. Right? No! Or, I'm sorry, screen left. This is for TV. Homer, yeah, he says, no! 
And then Apu says, nothing still. And then Homer says, Apu, you own this store. That, that is what he says. And then Apu, Apu realizes, oh no, he lost his voice. Oh. And that, that realization oh, hits him. Yeah. And then he thinks to himself, yeah, because people don't usually think in their own voice. They usually think in just like a generalized yeah. voice. So, he, so Apu thinks to himself, oh shit, I lost, fuck. Oh God, I lost my voice. This is so yeah. bad. And the voice that is narrating this is just kind of a generalized voice. It's not what I sound like yeah. per se. Just think of like a narrator. Um, who and do. then, just think of like a narrator. You can even use us as a placeholder to to kind of fill your brain. And then, um, who's another character? Uh, Bart walks in, and he says, "Hey Homer, did you hear that they're get the Apu got written out of the Simpsons?" Uh, and then Homer just looks horrified. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then we go. And then we go exterior, uh, quickie mart. Uh, exterior, exterior, Mo's, quickie mart. Interior Mo's. Interior Mo's, and then uh, Barney's like, "Oh, did you hear it? Get rid of my poo from the suits. And I think that, yep, that's perfect. Yeah, and that's that's actually that's yeah that's the episode actually. Uh, and then there is at the end of the episode to kind of bookend it. There's an apology from Hank Azaria. Yeah, where he says, guys. I'm so sorry that I gave up the role of Apu on The Simpsons. Yeah, it was my choice. Uh, it was, it was my choice, and I shouldn't yeah. have done it because no one's as good at doing that voice yeah. as I am. But if anything should happen to me, the role should go to Dallas Quinlan to yeah. And then Bryce's fantasy if, if anything happens to Dallas. Yeah, exactly. But then it gets buried with him after that. That was a great table yeah, read. I, I think uh, very that solid was a fire script. episode, dude. Yeah, can we run that? Is there any like anyone that could run that by? Because we we need we want to pitch this spec of a, an existing show to a network. Yeah, actually, hold on. Can it be a new show? Can it? Can we pitch the Apu show? We can definitely pitch uh, the the Apu show. What's the name of the Apu show? Uh, Apu's many big days. Apu's. Uh, it's called. It's a uh, the. The Apu show, I think would be yeah. pretty good. So the thing about method acting is you re- the method does not help anyone. Yeah, Jared, the there's a message because the point of the Gus and Eddie podcast is that what we're gonna do is that every episode we're gonna have a moral lesson mm-hmm. for you. And here's our moral Just lesson: like how like fables, yeah, fables have a moral lesson in them, and it's usually like. Like that, the fable about the like scorpion and the toad or whatever. The moral lesson of that is that you should never trust yeah. anyone. All right, you need to be stoic. You need to be a stoic. That's the that's the moral lesson of, of that fable. The moral Stoic's lesson crazy. of this episode is as all. Actually, we're gonna co opt the the moral lesson of that one. We're gonna say that the moral lesson of this one is that scorpions yeah. are crazy, and that you need to be stoic. Both of those are very important. Hold on. I'm looking at st- seven stoic don'ts. Yeah, can we get the third one? I think that would be a great capstone. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I'm watching the, the first one. Uh, yeah, skip that the one. The first one kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. And also the second one. And you, you can't you can't skip forward with uh, it was YouTube shorts, but I'm going to get there. I'm getting <laughs> it's there. a YouTube short. <laughs> Does it have like that <laughs> it's like, a, epic the, uh, man music behind it? No, it's dead silent, dude, other than I just scared. him. Because he's a stoic. Why would he have music? Yeah. He's a stoic. Don't compare yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. Well, why would I compare myself to anything? Why, why would I even be thinking, really? Yeah, if I'm a stoic, I'm not doing that. No, all I'm doing is just, like, standing. I'm, like, breathing. And we appreciate We're everybody coming out and discussing a podcast tonight. Uh, let me see. Temperance, everything in moderation, including moderation. Oh fuck! Actually, I'm gonna reply to that guy. I'm gonna say, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, subscribe to. Um, do we have a Patreon yet? No, no we subscribe don't. To, uh, to the YouTube channel of Penis Esports. Uh, yeah, in our personals. In our, yeah, in too. our personals. Uh, follow. Do you have your channel back yet? No, I'm never getting that joint back. Uh, follow us on <laughs> yeah. Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Penis Esports. Yeah. Yeah. And follow follow our personal stuff. It's all in the uh, description. New Republic. Follow the New Republic. It's a uh, youtube.com slash c slash the Pokemasters in HD. That is the New Republic. 
Yeah. Uh, have they uploaded like, the, anything like, since they took your channel? So, but I'm gonna check right now. Slash okay. C slash the Pokemaster. Yeah, let's give them a big <laughs> shout out, dude. <gasps> Dude, are they gone? Oh wait, no. Did I change it to slash C slash Bryce is right? Maybe. Maybe they. Maybe okay, they yeah, no, no, it, no, 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 They still have. Oh no, no! This is my channel. I. I have I have them in my other channel section. They deleted one of their videos. Dude, they really, they yoinked your For channel. They no just didn't reason. do anything with it. That's so sad. Yeah, you got fucked. Also, I will note that this guy is wearing a, a killer's shirt, but I feel like music is against the kind of MO yeah. of of the Daily Stoic. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode next week. Yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs>